All right, fourth video, okay? We're gonna bisect an angle, all right? Remember, we just copied a segment, then we bisected a segment. Then we copied an angle, that one was kind of tough. Now we're gonna bisect an angle. This is a lot easier than copying an angle, okay? All right, so first, obviously, you need to have some kind of angle drawn on your paper. It's a little bit easier to do an acute angle usually, but you can do an obtuse angle, you can do a right angle, doesn't really matter, you can do any kind of angle. All right, remember bisect means to cut in half. So we're gonna take this angle, and somewhere right through here, we're gonna cut it in half, okay? Now here's our instructions. Number one, from the vertex, remember this is the vertex, we're gonna draw an arc that intersects both sides of the angle. Remember the sides are the rays, okay? So my compass length doesn't really matter here, as long as it hits both sides. What I don't want is my pencil to be way out here and yes, this array would keep going, right, but I need to see that point of intersection. So, as long as I can see where it intersects the two sides of my angle, I'm fine. All right? So, pivot point is right there on the vertex. It's kind of hard to see there with my shadow, but it's there. And then we're going to draw an arc that hits both sides of the angle. Now, once again, sometimes that pencil is a little bit hard to see. Um, so, let me zoom back in and show you. You can see how that pencil is hitting right there. And is it going to stay in focus? Nope. All right, right there. You can see the pencil there. And down there you can see the pencil again. Okay. Now I'll just kind of turn this so you can see the rest of it better. All right. Actually, let me go back to our words. Step two. From one point of intersection, draw an arc out into the interior of the angle. Okay, so let me repeat that while I kind of show you what's going on. So from one point of intersection, we're going to draw an arc out here into the interior of the angle. Now, I can technically change my compass length right now. You don't need to though. All right, so most of the time you don't bother, you just leave it alone. All right, so I'm going to start here, remember, at one point of intersection. And I'm going to draw an arc out into the interior of the angle. So you can see that arc right there. It's just somewhere out here inside the angle. All right. I don't want it outside the angle way over here. Okay. I don't need it back toward the vertex. Out into the interior of the angle. Okay. Let's look at step three. This is important now. Without changing my compass length. Okay. Do not change the compass length between step two and three. If you do change it between step one and two, it's okay. But you don't need to usually. So usually we just don't bother changing it at all. All right, but between two and three, you cannot change your compass length. Okay, without changing my compass length, repeat step two, but do it from the other point of intersection. Okay, so let's go back. Remember last time, I did this point of intersection and got this arc. Okay, so here's the other point of intersection. And I'm gonna do the next arc. So pivot point right on that point of intersection. Okay, my arc is going to be out into the interior of the angle. Now I have this nice point of intersection right here. That's important. Okay, nice point of intersection. If those two arcs don't meet, you might need to make them a little bit longer or something like that again. All right? Step four. Connect that new point of intersection, that very last one, with the vertex. Connect that new point of intersection and the vertex. Use a ray. We talked about this in class when we first learned about angle bisector. An angle bisector has to be a ray, it can't just be a segment. So, my newest point of intersection, which is out here, okay, and then my original vertex, which is back here. I'm going to zoom out just a little bit so we can see all this at the same time. Oh, and I messed those buttons up again. Okay, so there's that point of intersection up there. There's my vertex. I'm going to connect those to each other. And I want my ray to go through the angle, don't put the arrow back this direction down here. Okay, make sure it's out here. All right, so line those up, make sure they're lined up well. Draw that a little bit past that point. You can see how I went past that point a little bit? Okay, because now I can add my ray onto the end. Okay, now what should happen, if we did this correctly, is that this angle right here should be congruent to this angle right here. Let's put some letters on here. A, B, C, and we'll call that point out there um, D. So angle A, B, D, okay, is congruent to angle C, B, D. All right? Remember, and you can name an angle backwards. D, B, A, that's fine. D, B, C, that's fine. Don't just say angle B. Too many angle Bs, it gets confusing. 
All right, so that's your last compass construction, how to bisect an angle. All right, good job. Make sure you know how to do those four. They're going to show up probably on a quiz or test, and we're definitely going to use the bisecting stuff later on in the year. Copying stuff, not quite as much, but bisecting both an angle and a segment, we're going to use a lot later on in the year.